Let's go through our entire main card. We are starting off in the welterweight division. Alex Morono versus Mickey Gall. Who do you like in this one, Mike? Well, before I get to the picks, this is my favorite part of the show. Usually it's just me and one counterpart, but I get to go head to head with Dean Thomas and go. the Hall of Famer, Rashad Evans. So let's dig into these fight <laughs> picks. You got Alex Morono versus Mickey Gall. Morono got that signature win over Cowboy Cerrone and, and then went into another win against David Zuada. But the way that Mickey Gall looked against Jordan Williams, it's hard for me not to pick the guy that's literally had to learn on the fly in the toughest fighting promotion in the world, the UFC. So I'm leaning towards Mickey Gall. Yeah, I really like Mickey Gall. I mean, I feel like I've been part of his journey, watching him grow up through the fight ranks. And we knew he had jiu-jitsu, but we didn't know he had power. And his last fight, he showed he had a lot of power. I like Mickey Gall in this one. So whatever you guys have been doing before the show, got you a little loopy, and you're not thinking clearly. So I will go ahead and explain this the right way. Alex Morone is going to win this fight. We're talking about the guy who came up on short notice and put Donald Cerrone out. You think Mickey Gall is going to put fear in his heart? Alex Morono wins this all day long. Okay, well, speaking of short notice, uh, only a few weeks ago, Chris Curtis picked up a knockout win in New York. He is back a few weeks later to take on Brendan Allen. Who do you like in this fight, Mike? Look, Brandon Allen's super tough. He's got a ton of experience for a guy that's 25 years old. And ever since the Sean Strickland fight, his last two performances, you can tell that he's evolving as a fighter. But it's hard for me to pick against Chris Curtis because this is a guy that thrives on activity. He, he trains year-round. It's easy for him to step in on short notice and fight these guys. And coming off that huge win at Madison Square Garden, it, there's no way I'm picking against the action man. I'm taking Chris Curtis. Yeah, Chris Curtis looked good in his last outing against Phil Halls with that big knockout. But... Brendan Allen is a man on a mission. I feel like with his mindset, with his skill set, and with his determination, he can be a contender in no time. I like Allen on this one. And I'm going to agree with Rashad here. Allen on this one, he's got the mindset. He's been challenging all the top guys. He's been biting at the chops to get a fight. Chris Curtis is able to step up, but Brandon Allen's going to put him out. Okay, well, listen, folks, we do have a Hall of Famer here with us on set, Mr. Sugar Rashad Evans. We also have a Hall of Famer on our main card. Clay Guida is going up against Leonardo Santos, who won the Ultimate Fighter Brazil. Mike, who gets their hand raised? It's best for me to take my bias out of this because Clay Guida is like a big brother to me. When I look at this skill to skill and the way these guys match up, I take Clay Guida all day. I just think that he has more weapons. He has more ways that he can win. And I think activity is going to play a big role in this fight. And this has been a very active year for him, this being his third fight. So taking the carpenter, Clay Guida. Yeah, I like what you said. Active. An active Clay Guida is a dangerous Clay Guida. And Clay Guida has been different since he had like a second stint, changing camps and everything else like that. So I like Clay Guida in this one. I think he's going to get it done with the hands. Yeah, Clay Guida's been around a long time. Both of them have been, but Clay Guida's been a lot more active. And from this angle, he looks like the ultimate warrior. So I'm definitely <laughs> going with Clay Guida. Okay, well, listen, guys, in the light heavyweight division, we've got Jimmy Crute going up against Jamal Hill. Uh, you know, in a couple of years, these guys could be at the top of the ranks. Right now, they're next to each other, Michael. But uh, who do you think takes one step forward on Saturday? This is a really tough fight to call, and I like the way that it's matched up. Sometimes I think you got to put these young guns against each other to see who's going to make that charge towards the top ten. Uh, it's, I just take Jimmy Crew. I think he's so well-trained. Not that I think Jamal Hill isn't well-trained, but I just know the type of preparation that goes into his camps with Coach Sam Greco, with Coach Dan Kelly, who's a UFC veteran himself, somebody that you know, Rashad. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's hard for me to go against a guy like Jimmy Crew, so I'm taking Jimmy Crew. I mean, Hill's a sharpshooter with those hands and keeps the range pretty well, but it's going to be hard to keep a guy like Jimmy Crew away. Jimmy Crew puts a lot of pressure on him. He does not put pressure on him just, just to put pressure. He takes you down and he pounds you. I like Jimmy Crude in this one. Yeah, me too. I'm going to agree with you guys. Jimmy Crude, he's so well-rounded. He's so skilled at what he does. His training, you can tell he's so dedicated to his craft. Now, Jamal Hill can end it in, a, in a one punch, but Jimmy Crude's just too well-rounded. And Crude with that mullet, too. That's what I was just, I I was, I was just going to say. Between, between him and Brandon <laughs> Allen, I think whoever has the best performance might pull ahead in the mullet rankings in the UFC. Uh, yeah. That's right. That's right. I knew you could, you could appreciate that. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the lightweight division, our co-main event, this one is so good and really kind of tough to call. Brad Riddell versus Rafael Fazeev. Who do you like? This has a recipe to be a very special fight. Not only could this be the fight of the night, this could be the fight of the year. And I don't want to jinx mm -hmm. it, so I'm not going to dive into that too much. But you got two former teammates that kind of know, have a good feel for each other. But since then, Riddell's been a staple at City Kickboxing. Fazeev's been down at Sanford MMA. Both guys probably changing certain elements to their game to bring some surprise into this matchup. Really tough fight to call, but I'm, I'm leaning toward Fazeev. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys have to hear. Mm, Brad Riddell is a dog. We've seen him in there time and time again, getting it done with the stand-up, getting it done with the grappling. But I like Fazeev in this one. You know, training at Sanford MMA with Henry Hooft and just being able to bend his back with those matrix-type matrix moves and stuff like that. I got Fazeev, man. Man, look at you. I don't, listen, I'm so disappointed. And you, I thought you was a Hall of Famer. Hey. And look at you. Y'all both won the ultimate fighter and can't get this pick right. Brad Riddell is going to win this fight because he's just too smart. 
Fazeev is an entertaining yeah. fighter. He's a great fighter. But Brad Verdell is just too smart. Those guys are city kickboxing. They figure you out. They analyze the situation and get the job done. Two incredible chins right there, though. This is going to be a fun fight. All right, but in the main event, Bantamweight division, we do have Jose Aldo, the former featherweight king, who has really found a resurgence at 135 pounds against Rob Font, who is actually one spot ahead of him in the rankings. Michael. I'm just really excited to hear Dean Thomas's prediction because I, <laughs> at, the chance of the, at, at the chance that it's opposite of mine. Look, Rob Font's been putting it together very well. Jose Aldo's resurgence has been phenomenal. But I just think if Rob Font can pull off the win, the Patriots are going to the Super Bowl. There's something going on in New England. There's something going on in Boston. I just got to lean towards the guy from the New England cartel taking Rob Font. Rob Font has been amazing. Electric with that jab and that slide and then with that jab. But like you said, the resurgence of Aldo was something special. To be able to do it at this age, to recreate the puzzle in his mind again, to go and chase out another title, I got Aldo on this one. Hey, look at this guy. He's built like a Greek god. Look at him. <laughs> Now, Rob Fon is great, but I think he's overachieved. I think he's in over his head in this fight. I think Aldo is just too much. He's the king of Rio for a reason. He, he gets the job done. He is a legend. It's going to be an excellent fight, and may, maybe we will see the next title contender in that one. Okay, so that is the main event. A 14-fight card coming your way on Saturday. The prelims do kick off at 7 Eastern. Main card is at 10 Eastern. There is Rob Font and Jose Aldo. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.